That's the beauty of SPM in that you can have alerts that will tell you when there are issues you should investigate further. Gap out, max out, and force off refer to why the green light ends for a phase. And so if we draw this out, every phase is guaranteed a minimum amount of green time. And then the amount of green time is constrained by the max green. Now the amount of green time that this phase actually gets is dependent on the detector actuations. And so let's say these are vehicles arriving at our detectors. As long as the time between these actuations is less than the extension time, the green will continue. Now let's say the time between detector actuations is greater than the green time. The phase is gonna do what's called gap out, which means that it's gonna end early. Now, if our detector actuations all stay within the extension time, the phase is gonna hit the max green and it's going to max out. Force off is a similar concept, but it happens during coordination when this phase has to yield to the coordinated phase. The benefit of being able to look at these termination types over time is you can see if you're allocating green time efficiently at your intersection. And it becomes really interesting if you can combine the termination types with the vehicle activity at the intersection right around when the phase is terminating. And so if I draw this out, let's say this is my end of green, and then the phase is turning yellow, and then red. If we see vehicle actuations at the stop bar right around this vicinity, this is telling us that there's still demand that wanted to be served by that phase that's now gonna to have to wait an entire cycle for the phase to turn green again. And we can look at this over time in co combination with the termination types. And we have a few different scenarios we can consider. So let's say we have on this axis our gap outs and our max outs. And then on this axis, we have the vehicle present or no vehicle present. And let's go through each of these scenarios. So a gap out with no vehicle is what we'd expect. It's gapping out because there's no demand. But if you see this a lot over time, this could indicate that this phase has time to give to phases that need it more. A gap out with a vehicle present is unexpected. You would only see a gap out when there's no more demand. What this can indicate is a problem with your extension time being too short. Now a max out with a vehicle left at the stop bar means that there was still demand waiting to be served and you might need more green time for this phase. And then finally, this last category of max out no vehicle means you timed it perfectly. You have the exact amount of green time that you need to serve all of your demand. In terms of guidance on how often you should be checking these types of metrics, I would say you should really just let the data speak for itself. And that's the beauty of SPM in that you can have alerts that will tell you when there are issues you should investigate further.